It's a tradition dating back to 1979. After the second period, the Cree players from Nikonit First Nation trade their hockey jerseys for headdresses, animal hide, and face paint. The Cowboys don their hats and chaps. The 40th edition of the Battle of the Little Big Puck is the latest in a long-standing celebration of unity and respect. For a lot of us, we're not just friends with uh, the Nikonit band members, but in a lot of cases, our parents, our grandparents, and even our great-grandparents knew each other and interacted and were friends. It helps me feel a place of belonging. The mayor of Maple Creek says the charity hockey game has always meant a lot to her, but especially as a Métis teenager finding her place in the world. It didn't matter who you were or what you were or the skin color you were, you were still included in part of the community. We are just people, we're just neighbors, and we want to create that good feeling. We reached Nikonit Chief Elvin Francis and Elder Larry Oaks by video chat. At 63, Oaks is still playing in the game. In order to deal with something like uh, racism or differences like that, uh, the people have to be doing something. It's not just something that you write about or talk about. You better be doing something, and this is probably a... Something that we can say we're doing together. We don't call it the Indigenous game. We call it the Cowboys and Indians, the Battle of the Little Big Puck. And nobody takes offense to that. You know, but but again, I said that that comes back to 40 years of relationship building. I don't mean to get up on a soapbox and say, look at us and we are the beacon of hope to, you know, to unified cultures and all that. But if we can shed a little bit of light on how we can all get along, then that's mission accomplished. <laughs> The money raised this year helps the local health center and teenage cowboy Sandy Cooper, who was paralyzed at a recent rodeo. Bonnie Allen, CBC News.